Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to discuss about molarity. So, ang concentration ng mga solutions can be expressed in many ways. So, one of this is molarity. Meron din tinatawag na molality, percent by volume, percent by weight. But in this video, we're going to discuss about molarity. Paano ba mag-compute ng molarity? Molarity is defined as the number of moles of solute per liter of solution. It is calculated by dividing the total of moles of solute by the volume of the solution in liters. So, ang uh, expression natin for molarity is moles of solute in solution per liters of solution. So, uh, and the symbol for molarity is capital letter M. So, yung molarity kasi natin, pag sinabi mo moles of solute, ano ba ang solute? Ang solute, ito yung substance na dinidissolve natin sa solvent. So, yung solvent is usually, yun yung maraming uh, amount greater than the solute. So, usually, ang ginagamit natin solvent to make a solution is water. Kasi yung water is a universal solvent siya. So, you combine your solute plus your solvent, you will get a solution. So, yung molarity ay kung ilan ba yung moles ng solute natin na dadissolve doon sa solvent. Okay? So, in the given total uh, solution natin, in liters, ilang moles meron doon? Uh, moles ng solute na nadissolve natin. And that is your molarity. Okay? So, we're going to solve some problems on, on molarity. So first, first problem natin dito is what is the concentration in moles per liter where 137 grams of sodium chloride has been dissolved in water to make 500 ml of solution. So dito kung titignan nyo ang hinahanap sa atin, ang tinatanong ay ang moles per liter. Sabi natin, molarity is moles of solute per liter of solution. Therefore, ang tinatanong dito sa problem na ito ay ang molarity. Okay, so ano daw ang molarity ng concentration nito? Okay, so dinisolt natin ang 37, 37, 137 grams ng sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is our table salt. Okay? So, dinisolt natin ang 137 grams sodium chloride sa tubig. At saka yung final volume ng solution natin is 500 ml. So, if you have noticed, yung molarity, ang unit natin sa baba is liter. So, alam naman natin yung conversion factor kung i-convert natin yung milli, milliliters to liters. Okay? Kasi may 1,000 na ml for every 1 liter. So, yun yung gagamitin natin na conversion factor. So, since given naman yung grams, ang kailangan natin hanapin is yung moles of solute. So, paano naman natin i-convert yung 137 grams natin? Okay? So, paano natin mako-convert ito 137 grams into moles? So, dito papasok yung atomic mass natin. So, kailangan natin kunin kung ano ba yung atomic mass for every element at saka ano yung molar mass ng sodium chloride natin. So, saan natin makukuha yan? You refer the atomic mass of each element nandun sa periodic table natin. So, doon sa periodic table, you can get the atomic mass of each element or substance, then you can get the molar mass of a compound, okay, such as sodium chloride. So, for example, so natin dito. So, kailangan natin yung molar mass ng sodium chloride. So, based doon sa table of elements natin, ang sodium, okay, ilang sodium meron sa sodium chloride? Isang atom lang. So, therefore, 1 times 23 lang yan. Okay, ito yung uh, atomic mass ni sodium, which is 23 grams per mole. Then we have chlorine. Chlorine, based on the periodic table natin, ay meron 35.45. So, kung 35.45, 
if we are going to sum it up, that will give us 58.45. Anong unit nito? Ang unit nito is grams per mole. Okay, so meaning to say, for every one mole of sodium chloride, meron 58.45 grams. So, yan yung gagamitin natin dito sa solution natin. So, dapat sa taas yung moles natin. Okay, so titignan natin. So, dapat makancel out natin ang grams. So, ilalagay natin yung given na 137 gra grams dito sa taas. So, we're talking about sodium chloride. I'm not going to write sodium chloride anymore here. So, ano yung liter of solution natin? Alam naman natin na ang liter of solution natin, ang 500 ml is equal to 0.5. Pero ipapakita ko pa rin sa inyo paano natin nakuha yung 0.5 liters, ang 500 ml. So, ilalagay muna natin dito ang 500 ml as is. So, let's convert the 137 grams to moles. So, gagamitin natin yung conversion factor na 58.45 grams per mole. Okay, yung molar mass. So, ilalagay natin sa taas ang 1 mole. Ito pwede natin balik ta rin sa taas si mole or si grams sa baba. Pwede siya. Basta hindi nyo pagbalik ta rin yung value nila. Okay, so 58.45 grams. So, here you can cancel out grams. Ang maiiwan na lang sa atin is mole. So, correct na tayo. Meron na tayong moles of sodium chloride sa taas. So, the next thing to do is we have to convert this 500 ml to liters. So, in order for us to convert this, we have to use yung conversion factor. Okay, converting ml to liters. So, since nasa baba dito si ml at gusto natin ito makancel out, so dito natin ilalagay si ml sa taas. Meron 1,000 ml. For every 1 liter. So, di ba? So, ML na sa taas. We can cancel this unit. Ang maiiwan sa atin ay si mol at saka si liter of solution. So, therefore, okay na yung units natin. Moles, in, moles per liter of solution na. So, if we are going to compute this 137 divided by 500, Times 1 divided by 58.45 times 1,000. That will give us an answer of 4.69 4.69 moles per liter. So sabi natin, moles per liter is equals to molarity. Or you can also call this 4.69 molar. Okay, so capital letter M ang symbol for molar. Or molarity. Okay, so, yan pong uh, solution natin on how to get. Very easy lang po ang pag-compute ng molarity of a given uh, solution. Kung alam natin yung mga conversion factors. Very important po uh, yung table of elements natin. At least you should memorize yung mga basic atomic mass na mga frequently uh, used na mga elements natin sa mga chemicals natin, sa mga substances. Okay? So, gagawa pa tayo ng another solution. Okay? Magko-compute pa tayo para masanay kayo. So, another problem is what mass of potassium sulfate Okay, so the formula for potassium sulfate is uh, K subscript to SO4. Okay. Is in 250 ml of 2.5 molar potassium sulfate solution. So dito naman, baligtad naman, iba yung nire-require. Ang nire-require sa problem dito is not the molar or molarity. Ang nire-require dito ay ang mass. So, opposite sa na-solve natin problem kanina. Kanina kasi, yung sodium chloride, given yung mass, ang pinako-compute sa atin is yung molarity. So, in this case, it's reverse. So, given naman yung uh, molarity ngayon at saka yung solution natin, yung volume ng solution natin, pero ang in-question dito ay ang mass of potassium sulfate. So, yun din ang isosolve natin dito sa problem na ito. So, meron tayong 250 ml solution. So, ito yung liter. I-convert natin to 2 liter. Then, meron din tayo 2.5 molar or 2.5 moles per liter of solution. So, therefore, gagamitin natin yan. So, since sinahanap sa atin ay grams, so, dapat si grams ay makita natin sa taas siya. 
So let's start first. Uh, we will need the molar mass of potassium sulfate. So compute natin. So based sa table of elements, potassium. Okay. Ang potassium is 39. So if we're going to multiply uh, ilang ano, dalawa, 2 times 39, that is 78. Then we have sulfur. Sulfur is just 1. So automatic si sulfur ay 32. 1 times 32 lang. Oxygen ay apat. So that is 4 times atomic uh, mass of oxygen is 16. So that is equals to 64. So if we are going to add this, this is 174. Still the same unit, grams per mole. Okay, so for every one gram, uh, for every one mole of potassium sulfate, mayroon 174 grams. Yan po ang gagamitin natin conversion factor. So mayroon tayo, to, solve, to start yung solution natin, okay, kasi gusto natin malaman kung ilang grams ba of potassium sulfate mayroon doon sa 250 ml na solution. Kung ang concentration ng solution ay 2.5 molar. So, let's start with the given 250 ml. So, meron tayong 250 ml na solution. So, dito sa 250 ml solution, co-convert natin ito to liters. Okay, so for us to convert this, we have to multiply it for every 1 liter. Meron tayong 1,000 ml. So, cancel out na natin. Ang maiiwan na lang ay si liter. So, gagamitin naman natin ngayon ang concentration natin, the molar. Okay? Molar concentration natin, which is para makancel out natin si liter. Kasi ang gusto natin makuha ang mass, so dapat ang maiwan na unit is only the grams. So, let's use the concentration which is 2.5. I-multiply natin. 2.5 moles of uh, potassium sulfate for every 1 liter of your solution. So, cancel this. 1 liter, 1 liter. And, ano na yung unit natin? Moles na yung unit natin. So, these moles, we have to convert this into grams. So, paano natin ito makoconvert? By using our molar mass. So, this time, instead grams per mole, okay, sa taas ilalagay natin si grams, okay, 174 grams. Okay, so then we have for every 1 mole. So, tignan nyo. Makancel out ba natin si moles? Yes. You cancel out the moles. Ang maiwan sa atin na unit is only grams. So, if we are going to compute this, 250 divided by 1,000 times 2.5 times 174, that will give us an answer of 108.75 grams of potassium sulfate. So, sa 2.5 molar potassium sulfate, meron tayong 108.75 grams, grams of potassium sulfate kung we're talking about 250 ml of solutions only. So, kung mag-i-increase ng... Uh, volume ng solution natin, for example, and the same yung molarity, mag increase din yung concentration or yung mass ng potassium sulfate natin. For example, yung 250 na ml total volume of your solution, nag-increase tayo, nag times 2. So, naging 500. So, meaning to say, yung, yung mass ng potassium sulfate natin, mag increase din by 2. ba? Kasi nag-increase by 2 yung, yung volume natin. So, ganun pong pagko-compute niyan. So, okay. So, yan yung pong ano natin, yung mass of your potassium sulfate na makukuha natin kung meron tayong 200 ml, 250 ml solution of 2.5 molar potassium sulfate. So, meron pa tayo another one, another problem to solve. Okay. And to, ito. What is the molarity of 80 grams of copper sulfate in 250 ml of solution? So, mabilis lang to. This is just similar with the uh, 
problem number one that we we solved a while ago. So given pa rin yung uh, given yung weight ni copper sulfate. Okay, so i-convert na lang natin yung weight niya into moles. So kaya kailangan na naman natin yung uh, molar mass ni copper sulfate. So based on ano natin sa table of elements natin, si copper isa lang, so 1 times uh, 63.5 ang ano ni copper. 63.5 grams per mole. Then we have sulfur. Kanina na ano na natin si sulfur. Isa lang din si sulfur dito. Isang sulfur lang din. Sulfur is 32. Then we have apat na oxygen. So that is 4 times uh, 16 si oxygen. So if we're going to multiply that, that is 64. Okay, medyo hindi na siya naka-align. But if you're going to, to add this, that will give you 159.5. Still, that is grams per mole. Okay? So, now that we have the molar mass of copper sulfate, we can now solve the problem. So, ang sabi, molarity, the question kasi ngayon is the molarity, moles of solute per liter of solution. So, let's start by using the 80 grams so, you have 80 grams for every 250 ml. So, hindi pa siya sakto. Bakit? In grams pa ang solute at saka yung solution natin ay in ml pa. So, what we're going to do is we have to convert the grams into moles. So, paano natin gagawin? So, we have to multiply. Gagamitin natin yung molar mass for every 1 mole of uh, copper sulfate, meron tayong 159.5 grams. So, we can cancel out the grams. So, what is left is moles per ml. So, kailangan din natin i-convert si ml into liters para makuha na natin yung molar natin or molarity na moles per liter. So, we have to multiply 1,000 ml, yung conversion factor natin, 1,000 ml for every 1 liter. So, you can cancel out now yung ml and ml. So, ang maiiwan na lang unit is si moles at saka si liter. So, if we are going to compute this, 80 divided by 250 times 1 divided by 159.5 times 1,000, that will give us an answer of 2.008 moles per liter or molar. Okay, so that is how you compute your molarity. Mabilis lang, di ba? So, be ready to refer to your table of elements. Kung hindi nyo pa na memorize yung mga atomic masses, do please memorize. Mas maganda kasi mas mabilis mag-solve ng mga uh, problems related to molarity and other uh, concentrations. Okay, kung alam nyo ang mga atomic masses for each element. Okay? So, sana po may natututo po kayo sa video na to. If you have any comments, feel free to write down your comments. Please don't forget to like our video and of course, subscribe our channel. Thank you so much!